And I don't want to break it for two reasons. One, because it costs a lot of money, and two, because it used to belong to Jonathan Ross. This year is the shop's 75th anniversary, and so what I've wanted to do is something really special. As always, a box has arrived, and this, I know I always say this, is a very special box. So what I'm gonna do is get this open and show you. We have been collecting new and interesting and unusual things for the museum. So packaging out the way, this looks awesome. So it's a toy by Remco. And I'm just gonna quickly show you there, even though it might not show too well through the bubble wrap. So we're falling around in that. So we'll just get that out of the way because this is what we wanted to concentrate on. This is pretty freaking fantastic. This is one of those toys that, um, you know when they say things on TV that aren't appropriate now and, and they say, well, it was acceptable in the 70s. This is one of those things. It is a long range mortar for kids. There you go. The packaging is really good. I know it's, it's slightly damaged at the top, but I knew that when I bought it, it is a very cool toy. I'm just being very careful when I lift this out and fold the lid back because we don't want to cause any more damage to it than is necessary. Is that detached? No, it's not. Right. Uh, there is a little piece of plastic that has gone there, but it's never going to be fired. So we have the Remco Marine Raider Long Range Mortar. Four authentic mortar shells, telescopic sight, adjustable range by mortar, exploding pillbox. So that bit is the exploding pillbox. And the aim of the game with this toy is to adjust this angle here. Really, I should get rid of all this uh, bubble wrap, shouldn't I? There are these two broken bits of plastic which I cannot figure out where they come from. It looks like this side of the old uh, mechanism there has been glued back on, but this plastic, 1960s plastic, is well, basically it's rubbish. This is a cardboard tube which is often, well, destroyed um, because you can't really put cardboard in a toy that you're going to play with. And, and these are rather cool. So the aim of the toy is adjust the angle here with this, load the mortars into there and hit this, which should pop open under the force of one of these hitting it. Unfortunately, I can't test it because I don't want to break it. And I don't want to break it for two reasons. One, because it costs a lot of money. And two, because it used to belong to Jonathan Ross. And that's the reason why I bought it. I'm going to put it up here for now in the box so it fills that gap but then in about a month's time it's going to go on display in the museum for people to come and see if they want to because we are celebrating our 75th anniversary here at the shop but for now take care stay safe and I'll see you soon for another toy whatever day it is normally I do a toy Tuesday ta -ra.